Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Calvin Butler with Freight Broker Sales Tips. And um, look, I got another tip for you all. All right, everybody knows that brokering, freight brokering is a very competitive market. And you know, there's a lot of new brokers that come on to this, this industry. I mean, hundreds of them coming in just about every day it seems like. But, do you all realize that 67% of all freight broker agents give up or quit or get washed out of the program um, within the first you know, six months of them getting hired as freight broker agents? And about 95% of all freight brokerage firms that start up, out of the freight brokerage firm um, startups, 95% of them are out of business within the first two to three years. Now, you're probably saying, well, that's a huge turnover. I didn't know that. Now, I'm going to tell you all why there is a huge um, turnover. And I'm going to give you all some tips on how to get have longevity within the industry and how to get to some type of measurable success. The reason for this high turnover in freight brokers firms and freight broker agents because they fail to realize the importance and the magnitude of the sales part of this industry. Freight brokering is sales. It is the purest form of sales. It is like the epitome of sales. It could take you months, in some cases close to a year, before you even sign your first shipper. So if you don't have the patience or if you don't have enough money or resources to sustain your freight brokers firm while you're waiting to get a shipper, then you're not going to be able to stay in business. If you thought that you could come into this industry and just, you know, I'm going to come into this industry, I spent all this money on my bond, I spent money on my authority, I spent money on my sack code, I got my insurance, you know, I got my, you know, all the, all the stuff that I need, I got my TMS system, you know, I got all this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and make a few phone calls and sign me up about five or six shippers. <laughs> you're in for a rude awakening. On average, on average, you're going to need to make about a thousand phone calls. Listen to what I'm telling you. You're going to need to make about a thousand phone calls just to even have a shot at signing up one shipper. It's a numbers game, people. It is a numbers game. There are 19 million plus shippers registered in the United States. And every shipper has their own criteria and their own policies about who they work with, what they need from a freight brokerage firm, and and, and to determine, to, to even make, maybe decide if they're going to work with you or not. Not only that, you're making all these phone calls, so that means you're going to run into a lot of shippers who are out of business. Numbers have changed. You may have the wrong number. Uh, chances are you're going to get someone on the phone who can't make a decision. And they're going to run roadblock because they really don't want to put you in touch with the person who can make a decision. And then if you do get in touch with the person who can make a decision, they might not have the time that they need to speak with you about you signing on with them and helping them move their freight. And then if they do have the time, you may not meet their criteria. You may not have enough seasoning on your bond. Your insurance levels might not be at a certain um, you know, high rate you know, coverage that they need for them to actually work with you. <clears throat> you may not have enough references. Your Ben your Dun and Bradstreet score may be too low. You know, that's that, I mean that's a that's a million and one different reason why a shipper cannot and will not work with you. Okay? So it's a numbers game. It is a numbers game. If you want to be a successful freight broker agent, okay. Don't get discouraged when you're making phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call and you're not getting any success because those are the numbers. You're going to need to make a thousand phone calls just to be able to get one freight brokerage, I mean one um, shipper to even sign on with you. Okay? You may need to make a thousand phone calls just to even get a, another number that's working or a shipper who's willing to talk with you or to get someone who can actually make that decision. My point is this. Be prepared to make a lot of phone calls. Be prepared to hear a lot of no's. Be prepared to just, you know, have a you know a very low rate of success. I mean, a thousand phone calls, one success. 
I mean, that's about the average. That's about how it averages out. And for freight brokerage firm owners, if you're coming into this side of the industry and you're starting your your freight brokerage firm, look, you cannot you you you're not going to be successful as a small freight brokerage firm. You either got to go big or, or you got to go home. So be prepared to hire yourself a ton of salespeople. <clears throat> a ton of freight broker agents. Okay, I'm talking about somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 to 300 freight broker agents every single, every six months. Because that's what you're going to need. Because the more people you have out there calling, the greater your chance of them actually reaching someone and the greater the chance of, of actual success in getting a shipper signed up. Because it's going to take quite a while before you get your first shipper. You could be in this business six, seven months before you even sign up your first shipper. Okay, so keep that in mind. Patience and a realistic view of what this industry really is. This industry really is sales. So keep that in mind and uh, just be prepared you know, for the long haul. If you're not prepared for the long haul, don't even start down this path. Okay, uh, you know, our corporate consulting firm, we work with young brokerage firms. If you are a brokerage firm and you're less than two years old, and you have been having great success, give us a call, 866-973-6445, and um, we'll speak with you, and then we'll send you out at NDNC. Once that is signed, then we'll we'll schedule a Zoom meeting with your people and our people, and we'll lay out uh, for you exactly what we do and how we can help you to be successful as as a freight brokerage firm. Look, be patient. This is a great industry, but it is sales. Remember that. This is sales. And it is it is the most intense and the most difficult part of sales um, that you ever experience. So if you don't have patience, um, you, you're not going to make it. If if you don't have the resources that's going to last until you get your first shipper, you're not going to make it. And, and don't expect and really do not expect to get your first shipper within the first week or or month or even the first six or seven months. It'll, in many cases. Freight brokers firm don't really sign on the first shipper until after six months to a year. So keep that in mind. This has been Calvin with RBBS LLC Corporate Consultant, and this has been my freight brokers sales tip of the day. Y'all have a good day. Talk to y'all later. Bye.